Let's tackle this geometry problem from the AMC 10A. Let ABCD be a rectangle with AB is 30, BC is 28. Points P and Q lie on BC and CD respectively, so that all sides of ABP, PCQ, and QDA have integer side lengths. So P is a point on BC, P and Q are points on BC. And, oh, no, sorry. P is on BC and Q is on CD. And then we have, we have that ABP have, has integer sides, PCQ has integer sides, and QDA has integer sides as well. So all these right triangles have integer lengths. And if you know Pythag triples, then you know that all you have to do is look for Pythag triples. Look for Pythag triples. And if you know your standard ones, this should not be that difficult. The first thing we look at 30. What 30 is a leg in a, in a Pythag triple? What can it be? Well, looking at the factors of 30, what are the possible Pythag triples that have some factor of 30 in their side lengths, right? So, like, let's just list out some of the common Pythag triples. Of course, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25, and Maybe there's some other ones we encounter, but these are like the main ones you absolutely have to know. So let's take, let's take a look at each of these one by one. Three, four, five. Well, if this is 30, then this, this could be 40, right? Four thirds of three of 30, but this is 40 is way bigger than 28. So that's not possible. So, so then you realize, huh? Okay, AB is 30, BP has to be less than 28. So AB is a longer leg. So AB has to kind of fall within this column. It's not the hypotenuse, but it's also not the shorter leg. So then we look here. Can we scale up this Pythag triple to get 30 in the central term? A1517, we can. 15 times 2 is 30. So we can just put 16 over here. 16, 30, 34. And then that makes this 12. Cool. So then now we're like, okay, we can try and guess this, but that's a little bit harder. I mean, we, you know what? Let's do that. What are the possibilities here? There's actually, there's several possibilities here, right? You can have nine, that's three, four, five. You can have 16, that's 12. Another three, four, five. But yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just try both of them, right? Because 12, you know, three, four, five, that's like the obvious one that comes to mind. You can have nine, 12, 15 triangle, or you can have a 12, 16, 20 triangle. So first thing, let's see what, what happens when you have a six, 12, 16, 20 triangle. This is again, three, four, five. Then DQ becomes 14. But there isn't a Pythag triple, it's 14 and 28. That would make this 14 root five. So that cannot be right. So maybe let's try nine, 12, 15, the Pythag triple. That will make DQ 21. 21, 28, aha, three, four, five. So AQ is 35. The perimeter of APQ, 35 plus 34, plus 15, that's 84, and that is our answer. The key idea here, realizing that all the side legs are integers, so you just have to go back to your fundamental Pythag triples and you know, do a little bit of like a little bit of guessing, but it's really not much guessing if you know your Pythag triples. Because the key thing is these are the Pythag triples, but when you scale them up by factor, they're also Pythag triples. Thanks for watching.